Hello friends, welcome to Hridi Janet. In today's video, you see CSWPA Seat Metal Exam Practice Questions. These questions are helpful for solving the real exam questions of Seat Metal. So the question first is, design the part in salt works using Seat Metal feature. Here the units are given material is 1060 alloy, Seat Metal thickness is 1.2 mm, inner bend radius and trim side bend are given and the dimensions are given in the form of a b c and d you, we have to use a global variable for setting up the value of a b c and d after completing this design you have to calculate the mass of the part so before moving to the question you have to create a template which is helpful for the real exam also so you can create the part template for the CSWPA sheet metal exam. This is this template is helpful in, in solving the real exam question. So for creating the template, you have to select the colors which appear on your sheet metal part. After that, you will have to go to system options. and select a desired color for all like cutout bend region will be in the orange color cut will be visible in the red color and the hole will be visible in the red color so this will look great when you see your part after this editing For creating the global variable, you have to set up the value of A, B and C. By creating the global variable, you will save a lot of time in the solving real exam questions. Like you, have, you want to edit the value of A, you directly change the value of a in the global variable section after creating this you have to apply the material that will be applied in this template now after completing this you have to save this template and you can use in solving real exam questions so you, it, it will be helpful and you save a lot of time in solving the real exam questions of CSW PA seat metal. So you have to save this template in the desired format. After completing this template, you have to move to the question first, which says for creating the part in seat metal features. This is the design you have to achieve after doing all the tasks that are given. All the dimensions are given in the image, you can follow with the image. First, you have to change the value of global variable as and first we assign by own so change the value of a b c and d that are given in the questions After changing the global variable, you have to select a plane in which you will apply the design. Now we create a construction line. You can follow with this video in your system also. This will give, give you a best result in solving the real exam questions. You can follow up the videos available in the channel for solving the CSWE exam. CSWPA mold making 
and CSWPA segmental questions. These are the practice questions helpful for solving the real exam questions. You can visit the seat metal playlist and also visit the CSWE playlist. This will is very helpful for solving the questions. The similar type of questions are appear in your real exam CSWE questions. Now after creating the seat metal part you have to calculate the mass in grams. So you have to select the mass properties and get the desired mass of the sheet metal part. You have to mail us on 3 at gmail.com to get the full video of step by step solution. Now moving to question second, you have to update the parameter means you have to update the value of global variables. Here the value of A, B, C and D are changed. So it's simple you will have to move to equations and added the value of a b and c that's why global variable are helpful you can add it after completing the part so here you have to change the value of a b c and d Make in practice to measure the dimensions once you change the value of global variable. It's helpful for you to get the correct output. Many times the answer will be incorrect, so make in habit to measure the dimension once you edit the dimensions. After completing this, you have to calculate the mass of the part in gram. You have to select the mass property and measure the mass. Now moving to person third. You have to calculate the distance of X data shown in the image. You have to first unfold the sheet metal part and measure the value of X. For full step by step video, you can mail us on 3 at the gmail.com. Here, the length will be calculated by measuring. The value of x there is 195.55 also check the units like here the value of x is measured in mm so first check the unit that is required Now moving to question 4, you have to change the value of k factor. Here the value of k factor is 0 0.32. In previous the value of k factor is 0 0.4. Now you have to flatten the part and measure the value of x. The unit is in mm.
Now moving to question 5, you have to change the value of global variable and measure the bounding box area. Here the unit is mm square. You can mail us on 3 days in the gmail.com for full video step by step solution. The video length is long that's why I don't upload this video on YouTube. You can mail us on the desired mail. In question 6, you have to apply the two symmetrical hems bent in the interior side and measure the mass of the part. For step by step solution, you can mail the same series and with I will say whole video which, which cover the step by step solution. So after editing, here you can see the bend color is in orange, the cutout color is in red. So this is helpful when you create the part template. The part template is also helpful in real exam questions.